Welcome to BioCell demonstration number two. Today I'm going to demonstrate the thermoelectric effects of the cell and also perform another little experiment and to see if we can make the uh, cell an ultra battery which is a combination of a battery and a capacitor. Okay, uh, first we're going to take a temperature of the plate here. So we have, if you can see that or not, 72.3. Kind of wiggle it around there. Okay. Now what we should see here is the temperature go up on the charge and go down on the discharge. So we're going to and we're going to use the same materials as we did in the first demonstration, just titanium dioxide and water, zinc plate and graphite plate. So we'll paint a little titanium dioxide on there. Set it down. There. Okay. Separate it on. Instantly. As soon as you put the plates on there and apply charge separation to it, oops, I got a short, then you get the temperature starts to change. Uh, that should give us a battery right there. Let's test that. 0.88 volts, 0.89 volts, 0.90, slowly climbing a little bit. Uh, 72.7 it went up I don't know if you can see that or not went up 0.3 degrees and you got to measure it fast too right after you do it the discharge should be show it a little better if you had if you have all metal plates on it then it, it, it really you can feel it all right, let's see where we're at here. Oh, we're climbing up. We're in 0.94. Okay. Let's see what I'm not. All right. There we go. 0 0.73.6. Okay, so you can see as it's charging up, the temperature's going up on it. Now let's discharge it and read the temperature again. Okay. There we go, down to zero, get the temperature on it real fast. 73. See how the temperature went down 0.6 degrees? Let's, let's hold it down there for a little while and discharge it some more. And then see if we can get the temperature to go down a little bit more. No, that's about it. All right, it's not a huge temperature change, but you can see that it goes up and down as you're charging and discharging the cell. That's the important point right there. All right, now. Let's go on and see if we can turn this into an alter battery. Now according to Robert Murray Smith, you just have to put layer, two layers of carbon on either side of your uh, negative electrode and make two positive electrodes and then it turns into a capacitor. So we're going to try that. Paint a little titanium dioxide. 
oxide on this piece of carbon. Graphite. went up a little bit, 1.01, 1, .01, 1. Yeah, that's coming on the milliamp side, yeah, you can see that fine, alright, well let's, let's see what the difference is here, ooh, look at that, 82.5 degrees, so it looks like it's, the it's pulling the energy moving in and out through the carbon to me. I mean, that's a significant change right there. Alright, let's, uh, let's discharge it now. We're at 0.98, starting to dry out just a dab. There we go, down to zero. I'll hold it there a little bit. So we there we go. Drop four degrees that time. 78.4. Alright, well, we're already back up to 0.87. It's incredible how fast this thing recharges. So we're full charge. Let's short it out again just so you can see that again. And uh, that, that, we'll hold it there for a little while. Bam, bam, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. You can see even after a dead short, it, it just goes right back on up and, and fast. So we're 0 0.86 and it's what, in 15 seconds or so? 0 0.87, 0 0.88, so you know, we're there. Alright, so, oh, now, so it's doing basically what I expected. It's, uh, it's not charging the capacitor. I was hoping that it would do that, you know. And then the voltage would keep on going up, but that's that's not happening. So it's, it charges back to its equilibrium point and then stops the charge. So now we're going to see if we can apply some uh, power to it and charge it up even a little further. Hook up a nine volt battery here. <laughs> and so we'll just give it like 10 seconds or something see how much of a difference that makes okay dropping back down to 20196 dropping it doesn't look like it wants to hold the charge and that doesn't surprise me because I've never been able to get the the single biocell to charge. It'll, you charge it up, it'll drop right back down to where it was, and then it'll continue charging itself up till it gets back to the thing. You can't even force it to charge back to normal. So it's slowing down. It's at one four four. So it looks like uh, it does charge, but uh, it's leaking. Uh, it's leaking. So we'd have to solve that problem. But, so it, it looks like it can be made into a capacitor. But it doesn't charge the capacitor by itself, unfortunately. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, my next video, I'm going to... I should have two coming out in fairly quick succession. 
Uh, one of them is going to be, I'm going to show you how to uh, make uh, graphite from sugar in an easy way. And you can also make use the same method to make uh, graphene too. And uh, then the, another one, I'm going to make a magnesium one and make it a more powerful battery. You can see the voltage will be about 1.93 volts on that. So those are coming up. Thank you very much for subscribing and watching. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.